Okay, we have a big snowstorm coming. And so we're gonna test out our 66B gas dock tank heater, Trojan brand. Uh, through a little bit of trial and error, we decided to fill up our tank first. This is 500 gallons. And then we're gonna put it going now and leave it going all night. Put a thermostat. Turn it on number four on the thermostat. See if that keeps it thawed out. I think we're supposed to, the low tonight's 11. So the pilot light is down here and sometimes it's a little hard to light in the in the breeze. So that's the ignite switch. Well, that's our pilot light switch. We're gonna hold that down until we get her going. That's lit. Easy. So you can hear it when it actually lights. Cut that part out. Yeah. You're gonna do the whole video of me sitting here holding it. Well, now I got to. Yeah. Alright, so the pilot light's lit and we're sticking it back in, and that's the thermometer. It goes in that tube. Turn it on. Now it kicked on. I don't know if we want to turn it down a notch. That's low. I'd maybe leave it on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't want to leave it running all night. I think I would turn it down more. Just because it's already thawed out, so we'd want to keep it at this temperature, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we want hot water. No, no, we'll leave it on low. Yeah. All right, so we have uh, the big cows on that side and the calves are on this side. So the only other thing we uh, discovered is you really have to watch the water level because if it gets down low, It'll get too hot and see how the paint started burning off. So, and we've only used this like one time and not in this way. So we've been checking on it all day and the storm hasn't really hit us that much yet. It's just now supposed to start getting bad. What do you, what did you have it on? Today. The cows haven't been drinking that much. Well, they have other water sources too. But. So we'll see what happens tonight. Alright, it's the next morning and I think it's 13 degrees again. And it's been on one and a half all night long. Um, looks like the cows have been eating snow for water. And the only concern is that it's steaming up here and then it's condensing and a little bit of water is going in the bottom. So, but other than that, everything looks good. And we're still on the same tank for two days, two days yeah. Two days and a night. Two days and two nights. Or two nights and a day. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> and then today is Friday and the storm is supposed to go till Monday. It's supposed to warm up again. Oh, 
Okay, I never finished my video. Um, so it's been oh, three or four days since we've uh, ran the propane heater. And we got hit with the same storm that the rest of the country did. And I just wanted to report that everything worked awesome. It ran through the whole storm. Uh, we did have some condensation in the bottom, but it never affected anything. And it was awesome to not have to worry about our cows and fresh water during that cold spell. It never did get down as cold as it said it was going to, but it still worked awesome. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, we are calving right now. And so I'm just checking on the cows.